Hey there, I am at Fair Game in Downers Grove. Let's go check out what they have. I am here with Eric, the owner of Fair Game. Eric, how's it going? Doing well. So tell me about how you got into this. How long have you been doing this? And how long has the store been around? Sure. The, uh, the store has been around for about seven years. Um, my wife and I bought the store from the previous owners almost a year ago. Uh, it's coming on 10, 11 months or so. Um, you know, the reason we got into it, um, you know, the previous owners, Josh and Amy, had done a great job of sort of establishing a vision of what they wanted a game store to be like and it was a lot different from a lot of the other game stores that uh, uh, most people have been to and um, the vision that they had sort of laid out was something that really resonated with our family our oldest son uh, this has been a second home for the last you know five or six years um, and when Josh and Amy decided they wanted to do something else with their free time um, my wife and I sort of decided to take the leap of faith and, you know, sort of step into it because, you know, we saw the impact that the store could have on the community, on, on young individuals, on old individuals, you know, really across the board. And it was something that we wanted to continue to, to support um, and, because it really is a, a, a unique asset for the community. So you guys do some things here that, that a lot of other game stores don't do. What are some of the, the services? We'll talk about products in a minute, but what are some of the services and, and stuff that you guys have going on? Yeah, we, um, you know, a lot of it centers around the developing a community. Um, you know, I think I talk to a lot of people and, and you know, when you're, when you're talking about games uh, and gaming, um, it's not about the game per se. It's about you know the opportunity to sit down um, with others, you know, interact, um, have the digital devices, you know, put away and, and things like that. And so, a lot of what we're trying to do from a service standpoint is really encourage that sort of community aspect. So, um, you know, it's it's things like uh, doing learn to paints uh, during uh, doing uh, learn to plays. Um, we do uh, we're ramping up our community outreach this year as well. So it's, it's headed to schools, to churches, to Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, you know, those sort of organizations, having an opportunity to take some games with us, share the games, uh, introduce people to gaming, um, and uh, just have a lot of fun uh, along the way. The one other thing that's a big priority for us this year is uh, we, we've tested a little bit, but we're, we're going to be starting an after-school board game program. So a lot, of, a lot of people are familiar with, you know, chess and music and art sort of after-school programs. Um, there's a lot of learning sort of embedded in a lot of different games. Um, things like empathy are really hard to teach in a classroom. They're really fun to teach with games. Um, and so that's something that we're also going to be focusing on from a service element uh, going forward. So let's talk products. You guys have an amazing layout at this store. And, and I mean, tons of board games and role-playing games, strategy games, all that kind of stuff. Talk a little bit about some of the bigger products and stuff that you do, and then, then we can go from there into events. Yep. Um, we're a, a pretty diversified store, um, and it's intentional that way. Um, obviously, you know, the big collectible card games, the Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, things like that uh, are, are a big part of our store. But a bigger part of the store is, is board games, uh, tabletop gaming, um, you know, on your traditional, you know, board game elements, but also the different card games and things like that. So, uh, what we try and do is, is to have a really nice selection um, that's available for people who may not be super hardcore gaming, um, but you know, when you walk in the store, um, you're sort of greeted with things that you're sort of familiar with, and as you sort of walk through the store, you sort of get deeper and deeper into complexity and and, and diversity of of the type of gaming and the game mechanics and things like that. So one of the things that you guys mentioned that you do um, on a regular basis is have the opportunity to try out games. Talk a little bit more about that. If I was just coming into the store, uh, when would I want to do that, and, and how does that work? Yeah, anytime we have an open, open seat, uh, we tell people uh, they're welcome to, to grab any game from our demo shelf. We've probably got you know, three to 400 different games, mostly newer games. Um, and so it's, it's stuff that if, if people... 
either just have a couple hours to kill before headed to supper or you know just finished up dinner and, and wanted to, to come in and, and have a little game time. If you want to try out a game before you buy it, um, if uh, you haven't had the opportunity to, to open up the box at home, but you wanted to come here and, you know, if we have a staff member that's that's free, you know, to be able to sort of walk you through setup and sort of getting you go going on the game, you know, those are things that, that, that we try and do. Yeah, and that's actually one of, I've been here many times, but one of the times that I came with the whole family, we did just that. And and um, there happened to be two staff people on on duty and one of them came over and walked us through this game we'd never played and before yeah. I knew it we were having a blast so yeah. I think that's a huge thing um, for families and, and just for anybody to be able to come in and do that yeah. you guys do a crazy amount of events yeah. talk to me about how some of those events happen what are the big ones and, and how are they organized who can yeah. participate yeah. Um, basically every single night of the week we've got something going on. Sundays are our D&D role-playing uh, groups that come into play. Uh, we do have Adventure League uh, here in the store. We usually have three or four tables that are going on, Saturday, on Sunday afternoons uh, from 12 to 5 for that. Uh, Monday nights are, are X-Wing. Um, which is a, a Star Wars based miniatures game. Um, we usually have anywhere between 15 and 25 people playing on Monday nights. Uh, Tuesday nights are our open board gaming nights. So um, there's a, been a pretty good group that started to come together on a consistent basis. Um, if there's uh, games that they haven't been able to bring to the table uh, before, or maybe it's been a while, uh, a lot of people come as individuals. Uh, with a bag of games and they meet up with other individuals with bags of games and you know have an opportunity because you know not everyone has a play group of three or four or five people that can meet on a consistent basis and so really what we're trying to do on Tuesday night is to, to, to provide that opportunity for 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 people um, Wednesday nights uh, we have uh, commander uh, format for Magic the Gathering uh, and also Star Wars Destiny uh, that's been meeting up uh, Thursdays are uh, Armada uh, we also have had uh, a couple people recently uh, joining up on uh, playing some casual Pokemon on Thursday nights as well. Friday is Friday Night Magic. Um, and then Saturdays we have sort of a rotating uh, type event. So oftentimes that's when we do our learn to play. So usually every other week uh, we'll host learn to plays, which really is, is an opportunity for people to um, come into the store, we'll have a volunteer or a staff member who knows how to play the game, has the game set up, and so that first, you know, run through um, makes it very easy to do when you have, you know, basically your own personal guide sort of walking you through the game. Um, we'll do some casual tournaments, uh, uh, various different, you know, a couple weeks ago we had a smash-up tournament. Um, we've got a Clank event coming up in a couple weeks, um, Mystic Vale as well. Uh, we've got an event coming up. So a lot of the really popular board games that, again, uh, people are enjoying uh, playing them with their group of three or four, but having a, a, the opportunity to join a larger community, spice it up a little bit, and, uh, and, and oftentimes there's you know, different promotional items and things like that that we can you know, offer for those events. That's awesome. Um, just wanted to go back to one other uh, service that you'd mentioned, the Learn to Paint program. Yep. So um, for those in the know, this is about miniatures, right? Mostly for, for war games or for Dungeons and Dragons. But um, how does that process work? If, I, if I've never painted before, what do I do if I want to participate and kind of get into painting yeah. minis? Yeah, if, if you've never uh, painted anything before, it's actually sort of set up for you. Um, we provide you with um, the paints. Uh, we provide you with brushes and you know all the other materials that you're going to need for that first introduction. And we'll have two or three people who are there who are experienced painters, uh, and we'll sort of walk you through. You know, this is the priming process. You know, this is you know your base coating, and you know, kind of going through each step by step. And it's it's a really great program uh, because having the ability to sort of put some paint in your own sort of spin on either miniatures that you have or um, you know other things that you're wanting to to sort of spruce up in your in your games. Um, it can be very intimidating. You know, where do I start? How do I start? And you know, you can kind of head off into these rabbit holes that, if you would have only known this, you know, little trick, you know, would have saved you a lot of you know frustration and time and, and money and, and things like that. So the learn to paints are really good to introduce people into that aspect of, of gaming, and, and it's also a very creative outlet as well. Um, where again, you know, customizing, you know, this game that you have or customizing some miniatures that you're doing uh, for a role playing game or, you know, other things, you know, people really enjoy that opportunity. Well, all, I, I think it's incredible what you guys have here and the events that you have, the services. And, and the biggest thing really is what you were saying before is the community, because 
that's what this whole hobby, whether it's you know tabletop board games or role playing games, that's what it's about is yeah. is getting away from the screens and and ha having some face to face yeah. interactions with yeah. people. And and there's so many opportunities, so it's a lot of fun. Um, thanks for talking with yeah. us, and and uh, best of luck, continued luck. And if you have not been here, come on down to downtown Downers Grove, um, because this place is amazing, and there's a lot of other things to do downtown. Yeah.